Hello, this is Ron Paul with your weekly update for Monday, April 4th. Last week, Defense Secretary Ashton Carter laid a wreath at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington in commemoration of the 50th anniversary of that war. The date is confusing as the war started earlier and ended far later than 1966. But the Vietnam War at 50 commemoration presents a good opportunity to reflect on the war and whether we have learned anything from it. Some 60,000 Americans were killed fighting in that war more than 8,000 miles away. More than a million Vietnamese military and civilians also lost their lives. The U.S. government did not accept that it had pursued a bad policy in Vietnam until the bitter end. But in the end, the war was lost, and we went home, leaving the destruction of the war behind. For the many who survived on both sides, the war would continue to haunt them. It was thought at the time that we had learned something from this lost war. The War Powers Resolution was passed in 1973 to prevent future Vietnams by limiting the president's ability to take this country to war without the constitutionally mandated congressional declaration of war. But the law failed in its purpose and was actually used by the war party in Washington to make it easier to go to war without Congress. Such legislative tricks are doomed to failure when the people still refuse to demand that elected officials follow the Constitution. When President George H.W. Bush invaded Iraq in 1991, the War Hawks celebrated what they considered the end of that post-Vietnam period where Americans were hesitant about being the policemen of the world. President Bush said famously at the time, by God, we've kicked the Vietnam syndrome once and for all. They may have beat the Vietnam syndrome, but they learned nothing from Vietnam. Colonel Harry Summers returned to Vietnam in 1974 and told his Vietnamese counterpart, Colonel Tu, you know, you never beat us on the battlefield. The Vietnamese officer responded, that may be so, but it's also irrelevant. He is absolutely correct. Tactical victories mean nothing when pursuing a strategic mistake. Last month was another anniversary. March 20th, 2003 was the beginning of the second U.S. war on Iraq. It was the night of shock and awe as bombs rained down on Iraqis. Like Vietnam, it was a war brought on by the government lies and propaganda amplified by a compliant media that repeated the lies without hesitation. Like Vietnam, the 2003 Iraq War was a disaster. More than 5,000 Americans were killed in the war, and as many as a million or more Iraqis lost their lives. There is nothing to show for the war but destruction, trillions of dollars down the drain, and the emergence of al-Qaeda and ISIS. Sadly, unlike after the Vietnam fiasco, there has been almost no backlash against the U.S. empire. In fact, President Obama has continued the same failed policy, and Congress doesn't even attempt to rein him in. On the very anniversary of that disastrous 2003 invasion, President Obama announced that he was sending U.S. Marines back into Iraq, and not a word from Congress. We've seemingly learned nothing. There have been too many war anniversaries. We want an end to all these pointless wars. It's time we learn from these horrible mistakes. Thanks for calling this update. A new update is placed on this number, 888-322-1414, every Sunday.